Fitzy and Whipper. Good news, guys. Fitzy and Whipper are on the mend and they're not <coughs> that <coughs> sick this week. <coughs> Oh, but the one thing that's really stuck around is that brain fog. Still getting a bit of brain frog, guys? Brain, brain frog. frog. I'm not sure how else you can explain Whipper calling Bryce Dallas Howard this. Chris Pratt is joining us on the show, one of the stars of the movie, and also Dallas Cowboys Buyers Club. What was his name? Her name. Her name. Second time's the charm. It's Bryce Dallas Howard. And also Dallas Bryce Howard. No, got it out of order this time, Whip. Uh, let me fix that for you. And also Bryce Dallas Howard. Perfect. I'm pretty sure I have gastro. Oh. I don't think Fitzy's out of the woods either. Now's the time to unapologetic. Unapologetic. Unapologetically. Unapologetic. Unap- unapologetically. And now's the time to unapologetic. Oh, unapona. And now's the time to unapologetic. Oh, this is a keep this letter. Unapologetically. And before you ask, yes, I'm also sick. <laughs> So it's going to be a bit of a shorter recap. I don't know, mate. The Outback Wrangler, Matty Wright, joined the boys this week. The Outback Wrangler, Matty Wright. Hey! Hey! Thanks, guys. Who's always got a story or two from up north? In the States, there was a rescue job on a mum and a little boy, I think, that had fallen into the water. Yeah. Alligators there, and there were snipers on hand. Snipers to shoot the yeah, alligators. to shoot the alligators. In a situation like that, if the alligator's going to come and shoot on the kid, you yeah. to take care Are of the Are they alligator. more aggressive than Crocs alligators? No, or they're, no, they're, by they're, the they're like a big frog with teeth. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Outback Australia is a dangerous place. On Thursday, Whipper brought a story about a lady giving birth at the beach. You never turn your back on the water. So true, says. And if you're wondering just how many Bondi Rescue references the guys could get into it, here's a count. The baby's born, which is beautiful, and she said the waves had the same rhythm as the contractions. What if there's a rip? Well, Hoppo's on stage. Harry's is there. Osha's there. Really? Osha's there just narrating. Doing it. a voiceover. <laughs> Sweet times. The hot nights. Now we can see the baby's head as Hoppo runs down onto the beach. <laughs> he calls for backup. Yeah. Reedy, who's just finished an Iron Man. Dree's doing beach sprints in the background. They've got tryouts and whippets there as well. <laughs> Legend says that they're still making references to this day and not getting to the actual story. See, it's a good perv down at Bondi, Tommy, isn't it? Say- we discovered this week that Whipper knows an amazing amount about plastic surgery. When you're playing with your body here, I mean, you need to ask yourself some serious questions. From hair plugs... Done? Dubai, yeah. Dubai. There's one doctor there. All the celebrities go there. And it'll take 48 hours, $20,000. To teeth work. When they put caps on your teeth, they file down your teeth yeah. yes, do. to, like, dinosaur teeth. Yep. And then they put the caps over the top. And one in particular, boob jobs. The mate of mine, he's a boob de- um, surgeon. He's one of the best in the world. All the work and the sculpture and the way they build it right. is using your own body fat. So there's no actual implant as such. Now, if only... I'm not going to pretend to know what goes on during surgery. He knew that much about anything else. Humans will swallow, on average, eight spiders each year while sleeping. Eight a year! That's nearly one a month if you... Consider it an eight-month year. <laughs> <laughs> now, usually it's the other guys in the studio that make comparisons of Whipper to other unflattering celebrities. I would love to have a stunt double. Oh, Unfortunately, God. John Candy <laughs> passed away. <laughs> when you had that big dinner at your place, that's said, right. this is an Easter, this is a feast. They thought you were going Rossi. Rossi. yeah, yeah. Mick Malloy. A a, yeah, a turtle. A yeah. Yeah. Anyone over 90 kilos, I sort of get. But this one, well, this was all him. When I was having guitar lessons, the guitar teacher said to me, you know what? You'd actually make a great Elvis impersonator. I sat Dad down and I said, I think I've found my calling. What no. era would you be? Would you be on the I toilet? I wouldn't be fat. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be fat on the toilet. But it feels appropriate that now is worth looking at a red room with Whipper as an Elvis impersonator. Yeah. Yeah. Hot dub time machine supported hot, hot, by Elvis. Yeah. Hot, hot dub thigh machine. <laughs> hot, hot rub, rub thigh oh, machine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Now, I mentioned before that we had the stars of Jurassic World, Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard on the show. Dallas Cowboys buyers No, we wrong again. But it did turn out that Bryce Dallas Howard is actually a bigger fan of Sam Neill than Fitzy and Whipper are. I was in New Zealand. Yeah. Someone was like, yeah, that's Sam Neill's farm. And I trespassed and I walked wow. onto his <laughs> land and I was like looking <laughs> for Sam Neill and he wasn't there. Uh, the restraining order stands, which made filming with Sam Neill complicated. really complicated. Really hard. We had to create an animatronic Sam Neill. <laughs> Which now explains why he said this about his winery the last time Fitzy and Whipper spoke to him. We've sort of made it members only now. <laughs> now, 
if you guys will let me, I'm going to put my psychologist glasses on for this part because there's been a couple of real Freudian slips this week. No snitch. Don't put that in the best of. Like this one from Whipper. Will you be the person that wins the last $10,000? Get on us. Air with us. Doing well. oh, no, I'm doing really well. Do not get on my ass. That is complete. That is not an invitation or a request. And if you thought that one was bad, wait till you hear Fitzy's. Two months later, she went on a dating site called Plenty of Fish. And what? she's she's met a <laughs> Plenty, plenty of fish. Of plenty of fish. fish. Yep, Dave. You've got to get that right. Congratulations. Aww. She's found love with a younger man. That's can't get, nice. Can't get past that website. Don't Google it, kids. And in case you missed it, Matt DeGroote has returned just in time to point it out. What did I say? Don't worry. You said plenty of fist, Fitz. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, thanks, Matt. No worries. Thanks, Matt. Oh. Hate for him to have missed it. See you guys next week. Fitzy and Whipper.